Bwana asifiwe. Amsemi ameni ya kufurahisha. Bwana asifiwe. Leo ni Monday lazima ujiandae vizuri ujue kwamba unaingia katika malango ya mchi. Amen. Hakuna kitu hatari sana kama unapoingia katika mji. Let me tell you, hakuna mtu ameishi tarehe na saba si ndio? Kuna mtu aliishi mamadi aliishi kabla hajafika leo. Hakuna mtu ameishi tarehe 27 of the month of February 2017. Kuna mtu? Na Jumatatu siku zote huwa ndio siku ya kwanza mtu anajiandaa kwa ajili ya kuingia katika kujitafutia for five days. Usipopata siku tano ukweli kabisa hata hizo siku zingine zimebaki huwa unabahatisha si kweli hapo ndio tunasemanga 11th hour amen naomba tukae kwa uwepo wa bwana tuende katika somo tulikuwa tumeanza jana it's a very topic ambao najua ya kwamba it's a controversial topic that but i want to make sure au sale true niingie katika undani ili nipate nafasi pia niendelee kukufundisha upate kufahamu na mimi naweze kufahamu sisi wote tujue ya kwamba kuna nini ambacho pia kinaendelea kutuangaisha kama wa Kristo na kile kinaendelea kutusababisha tufike mahali tumefika na tunaamini ya kwamba Mungu ataenda kutusaidia katika jina la Yesu sema amen kitabu cha kumbukumbu la Torati ambao ni inaitwa kizungu Deuteronomy chapter 28 maana ilipungusa hii basi kubwa hivi tu please e, e, Deuteronomy chapter 28 uh, verses number 1 naanza kusoma the bible says and it came to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the lord your god to observe and carefully or carefully and all his commandment which i command you today that the lord your god will set you high above the nations of the earth nataka weke mstari neno hilo ya kwamba i the lord will set you above all the nations of the earth verse number 2 and that this blessing shall come upon you number one overtake you because you have obeyed the voice of the Lord your God now number three now this is where we begin a blessing in a summer, blessed shall you be in the city and, and blessed shall be you in the countryside the other one saying in the country let me read it from the living bible in ski in a simplify namna gani number verse number 3 inasema if you truly if you fully obey the lord your god and carefully keep all his commandments that i'm giving you today the lord your god will set you high above all the nations of the earth the nations of the world actually this one put the nations of the world you will experience skiriza hii inasema vizuri you will experience all the blessings if you obey the lord your god number one blessing your town and your field will be blessed number two your children and your club will be blessed and the offspring of your herds and the flock shall be blessed Number five, and the fruits, and your fruit basket, and bread boat will be blessed. Number eight, and wherever you go, and whatever you do will be blessed. Wherever you go, and whatever you do shall be blessed. And number seven, and the Lord will conquer your enemies when they attack you. They will attack you from one direction, but they will scatter from you in seven directions number eight and the lord will guarantee a blessing on everything you do nataka umaki jina and the lord will guarantee nataka wandike hiyo jina vizuri and the lord will guarantee will guarantee yani atakuwa kikishia the lord will guarantee guarantee i love that word a blessing on everything you do and they will fill your storehouse with the grain and the lord your god who bless you in the land is giving you nataka umaki hiyo jina tena the lord has given you the land but it is also text the lord to bless you in that land remember nimezungumzia for some time shinirangu kuhusu wakati umeingia katika inchi ya kumiliki sikiliza hii 
ukishaingia katika inchi ya kumiriki Mungu anasema atakupa baraka katika inchi hiyo ambaye unaingia kuimiliki utaingia katika hiyo inchi anakugaranti anakugaranti baraka anasema and the lord who bless you in the land is giving you number nine, if you obey the commands of the lord your god and walk in his ways the lord will establish you bwana yesu asiwe sana and the lord will establish you yani mungu atakuimarisha mnielewa mama toni yani kama vile umeanza cash mungu ana problem ya kwamba he can give you a job he can give you a guarantee he can give you anything that you do but god is still looking for you akuangalie number one, the commitment of obedience how are you going to obey him how are you going to do him bwana yesu asiwe sana utafanya kivipi na ndio nimekuwa nikiambia this is the most controversial subject that we are going to deal for a while and i know there are so many people who can contest it ambaye wanaweza kupingana nayo yani imaniko nasema and the lord will establish you mungu atako establish ikisumbua hii unaweza weka zile za round zile no problem and the lord will establish you mungu atakuimarisha bwana asiwe sana hizo dish in second chronicles 20 verse 20 inasema ya kwamba and the, and if you pay the lord thy god number one, one you sh- he shall establish you so establishment kuimarishwa ni mungu anaimarisha mtu bwana asiwe sana and if you obey his prophet you shall prosper in other words mungu anapatia instruction his prophet unanielewa anapatia maagizo manabii wake So the moment you don't obey what the prophets are telling you then no matter how you are established you may not be able to uh, prosper. Bwana asiwe sana. That's why people are struggling. They are in a place of work. Wako kazini, wako biashara, wako kila familia. They have established. Mungu amewa establish. Yaani Mungu hana problem ya kukupeleka akuonesha kwamba ni rangu hapa ndio unafanyia kazi. Lakini maagizo lazima uyasikilize. Uyasikilize. Mungu amempatia Musa akamwambia haya ndio maagizo watakaposikiliza. Na ukisikia tukizungumzia juu ya lahana zinazokuja juu ya watu, the first curse that comes upon man is disobedience. Whether anybody like it or not, a curse is real. Bwana asiwe sana. Lahana ni kweli. Don't be deceived that they say grace you cannot sin against God and then you say the grace yes but you must understand the consequences Mungu alimwambia David I have forgiven you from that sin that you have done against Uriah and and, and Bathsheba nimekusame but the bible says and the god said the sword shall never depart from your house i will not take the kingship alimwambia solomon akasema kwamba solomon because of the covenant nimeingia na baba yako i could have killed you and destroyed you but because i remember the covenant i entered bwana asiwe sana you can continue being stayed in the same place for a long time una come how song how end lay how end hakuna kitu kinafanyika there's nothing that you are doing bwana asiwe sana Hakuna kitu nafanya in life. Now this controversial subject about generational cash. As long as they say generational blessing, they say so generational cash. Are you understand what I'm saying? Kukiwa na baraka ya uko, ya kwamba kuna kitu cha uko, uwezi kula vitu vya uko ambao viko, baba yako labda alinyanganya watu, alafu ufikirie kwamba you can enjoy continuously without even you paying it what your father did do you understand that but when you understand the grace ya kwamba unachiondokea unajiestablish peke yako unaanza maisha peke yako anasema listen to this napenda hiyo ndiko when you talk about the nation of cases that with the bible says 28 upon the tutaka for sometimes maniko nasema hivi in Deuteronomy chapter number 28 you know you can mapema hiyo hiyo stereo voice toa hiyo basis itakuwa mzuri please inasema hivi anasema 
Mungu mwenyewe anamwambia Musa anamwambia Musa nimekwambia if you truly and fully obey Mungu ana problem na mtu kumbariki Mungu hana problem ni langu kukuonyesha baraka Mungu hana shida ya kukuestablish where you are supposed to be Praise the Lord God has no problem Mungu hana shida na wewe Mungu hana rival because yeye aliyekutunza yeye amekuonyesha ni juu yako wewe mwenyewe kujua maagizo yake God cannot come to your pocket and take a 10%. Am I right? Mungu hawezi kuingia kwa mfuko yako, atoe fungu la 10, akuja ajitolee. There are things God cannot praise himself. God needs your praises. I say God needs your praises. God cannot praise himself. God cannot sing for himself. God you can only sing for him. Whatever that God cannot do for himself, he requires you to do it faithfully. Praise the Lord. Mungu hakunyanganyi, hakunyanganyi. The only problem that devil ameleta ni kwamba we look at the men of God. We look at the churches. But because the devil want to take away what we call the confidence that people have in God. Because God has come in the form of a man. Praise the Lord. God has come. Mungu ameweka katika ishara ya mwanadamu. Yesu angekuja kama malaika, nobody angeokoka. Nimeongea ukweli? Leo hivi Wayahudi wana mdauchi. Kwa sababu alizaliwa kwa kwa holi la ngombe. Wanamshuku, wanasema hapana. Atuamini mfalme anayezaliwa wapi? I say mfalme awezi zaliwa wapi? Hawezi zaliwa kwa holi la ngombe. Wanaamini ya kwamba mfalme anazaliwa kwa parish. But now Mungu alikuwa anataka kubalisha akili za watu ajue ya kwamba he can go to law, he can protect his people, he can give them an opportunity because when God says I the Lord I have given you this instruction. In instruction ndio unatakana kufuata uulize ni gani amepeana? Ni gani amepeana? What as the instruction God has given? What is it that I'm supposed to obey carefully? The other translation says that if you very gently obey, meaning that you must put an effort. You put what? You put an effort. Anything that you want to do under the sun, you must put an effort in it. If it is business, you must put an effort. If it is a family, you must put an effort. Anything that you are doing under the sun, you must put your effort. Praise the Lord. That is number one condition of any man to succeed. You can never succeed while you are seated down. You have to succeed when you have put your effort. He says, I the Lord. If you dare gently obey, number one, the voice of the Lord thy God. And obey his commandment that I do give you today. Now, God gives you as a commandment, gives us instructions in the language. You walk to a doctor, he tells you, Nimekuandikia dawa. Ukunywe asubuhi, ukunywe jioni, ukunywe eh wapi? Mchana. Alafu ushike hiyo tembe zote tatu esta, uweke kwa mkono useme because jioni sitakuwa na time. You take all of them and swallow them. What will happen? Natokea nini? Useme niko na haraka na sitaki ama you take the tembe za whole week. Umepewa dawa za wiki mzima, unaikunywa one day. What will happen to you? I said, what will happen? Why? Because and when you die, they will always give and sorry and say, you never took instruction. And I pray that please, as we are here, when we are fighting curses from our houses, please be careful that obey the instruction that God has given us. I say, obey the instruction God has given you. Yesu akakuja kwa mtu mwenda, haka mwambia kwamba, wewe, jamana mwambia, miwi shioni. Haka mwambia, fine. Akachukua mate, akatema chini, akatengeneza udongo, alipotengeneza udongo akachukua, akampaka macho tena. In other words, Jesus made him more blinder than the way he was blind. But because the man was taking instruction, the moment you disobey the instruction, the moment you disobey what you are told to obey, let me tell you the consequences are very high. And I pray you shall not be a victim of those consequences. I say you shall not be a victim of those consequences. I say you shall not be a victim of those consequences. Jesus took the bull. Akachukua matope. Akampaka jamaa. Akamuambia. Usipebwe na mtu. Enda mpaka shiloam ujioshe. How? How are you going when you are macho diye mearibika? Na jamaa nachukua tena mchanga. Anawekerea kwa macho. Mama lili anudayana aje? 
Ukipata mtu anaombea mtu wako hiyo design unafanyaje mami? Unaweza fanyaje? How are you react? Mtu anafanya vitu opposite. Eh? You do something's opposite. I, are you expecting a blessing or a cash? I'm, I'm, I'm asking. Do you expect a blessing or a cash? The, the Bible says she, now when Naaman walked, Naaman, that's a spirit of pride that I was talking about yesterday. That resists. Ambao ni nazuia watu kubarikiwa. Pride. Kiburi. Naaman ya lipofika, alifika na gold and silver and the clothes na good things. Akafika na chariots. The man came to see a man of God. So that is what makes somebody. Mungu akajua ya kwamba. As you are coming with pride, I'll humble you. I'll do what? I humble you. The Bible says I can remember Kwamba. Go and wash yourself, Jordan, seven times, not six times, not six and a half, seven times. When you are taking the instruction, my friend, it is costly, it is painful, but it is necessary for your life. I say it is necessary for your life. I say it is necessary for your life. What is happening? Because you ask yourself, people are saying, as we are talking today, I was telling you yesterday about understanding and dealing with those curses which are coming upon people's life. The first curse is disobedience. When you disobey, number one, you must understand that God himself, he will come down, rain and curse over your life. He will delay, he will delay, he will delay. God told Joshua, don't fight, don't carry any weapon, but you get the people to sing. Enemies are advancing, but you are singing. Is that the right thing? I say, is it the right thing to do? The enemies are advancing, and you are there singing. Is that, is that crazy? Is that a little life? The enemies are advancing. They are full loaded. They are full of weapons. They have everything. And you are told, don't carry any weapon. Don't raise your hand ever on the battle. But I know the Bible says, and that's when the Bible says, the battle belongs to God. That's why whenever you want to subject your life into your personal instruction, you fail. But if you subject yourself to the instructions of God, no matter how painful they are, no matter how hard they are, but you must subject yourself to those instructions. He says, if you obey fully, because I wonder why. Baga na ujulizanga, u Christo sangine na kuwa kama lana. Sababu nakuda wa Christo ndio wanaasol zaidi kuliko watu ambao hawa jaokoka. Bana suwe sana. Have you seen that one? Na ulize ujaona wa Christo ndio wanaasol zaidi kuliko wala wa meokoka. Eh? Jerimu, uko kwa biyashara. Umeona watu wanaasoli na kina nani? They only bear the name because you wonder kwa nini hawafanikiwe. Mkristo anapata opportunity almost there. It's next to the same opportunity, but when he's getting the same same opportunity almost the man crashes. The man gets a misfortune. Something happens why? Because number one, you never obeyed fully the instructions. Instructions of God is not grievous. They are better for your life. Amen. That's why you find the military men Faith na niambia bwanake amuongelejeaje saa zingine ovyo ovyo. Watu wamepitia jeshi hawaongeaji ovyo ovyo. Watu ovyo ovyo ndio wanaongea ovyo ovyo. Si ndio kweli? Wewe unaona president anakuja kukagua kuja pass out baridi saa saa nane ama saa saba. Watu walisimama hivi saa moja asubuhi. Ayo ayo ayo. Afya yako ikiwa si unaona mtu anaweza anguka. You are not supposed to be there. So Christianity is not a, a walk in the park. Christianity is a battle. Is it true? I say Christianity is a battle. Am I talking to somebody here? It is not easy. You cannot keep on coming every day. You pray and say, God, I stand in your presence. If you stand in the presence of God, continuously, no matter what is standing against you, it can never overcome your life. It can never overcome your business. It can never overcome your family. People are dying for things and they are not dying for God. Comments are everywhere. People come for prayer, but they don't believe in the one who they are praying for. Why people enter into cults? Why do you think people embrace every religion? Every satanic things that are not working out. Why do you think so? Because people want what you call shortcuts. You understand that? 
They want things that are very easy. You tell somebody, I give you this oil, it can work for you, so don't pray. You can take this oil and you don't pray. Let me tell you, my friend, you must take the instructions. You take what? Instructions. If you fully obey, listen to this, if you fully obey and carefully keep them, the other one says, very gently. Say it what? Very gently. Very gently. One, let me read this one from the Living Bible, from the New King James Version, please. The New King James Version is very powerful. It says, number one, regardless on where you will be, regardless where you are doing business, regardless where you are staying, places don't make people, it is people who make places. Whatever you have and you have God, people can look it at where you are. Places. You can establish. You can make a biggest boutique. People can run from London, from Nairobi. They can come as long as you stand. Because the Bible says, when you obey fully, number one, I'll bless you in the city. I'll bless you in the village side. I'll bless you anyway, anyway. Praise the Lord. I'll bless you anyway, anywhere. He said this. He says like this. He says like this. There's one thing I like. I like this one. He goes on to say, he said, that he will bless number, 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 number three. Number three, he will bless you in the city and bless you in the, in the countryside. And number four, bless you shall be, blessed shall be the fruit of your body. Fruit of your body means your children. Means your children. Means what, blessed the fruit of your body. But what you are doing. Because you may have the children, but they not become a blessing to you. Why? Because when you are buried before God, God will make everything repaired from you. I'll plus your own seed. It's a curse. It's a curse when a child lifts his hand to fight a parent. Do you know that? It is a curse that a parent you can beg your children to support you. It's a curse. You are not supposed to speak. Watoto wako wanatakana kuwa kama vile ulivyo kwa Mungu. Bwana asiwe sana. Vile ulivyo kwa Mungu. Nilangu ukiwa vile ulivyo kwa Mungu ya kwamba Mungu akupembelezei. Fai, ati Mungu anakupembelezea umpatie tafadhali nisaidie hii fungu la 10. Tafadhali nipe sadaka ya shukurani. Tafadhali nifanyie nini? You can't your parents your parents to educate to give them a thanksgiving. Napenda sasa zingine vile ndugu za kina ndirango anasema I wish that is a very noble idea. Ya kwenda kushukuru wazazi. Na iwe kitu ya continuous. Bwana asiwe sana. Iwe ya continuous. Wazana zingine kabila zingine pia zinakwanga ma gangster. They eat everything wanakula mpaka. Mzazi yako hastahili kusimama akwambie ni shukuru. Jen. Yo mama yako asimame ama baba yako asimame. Sasa mtoto wangu yani utakuja kunishukuru? Is that? Hiyo hiyo ndio kazi ya mzazi yako. Eh? Baba yako akuje hiyo wako kule kwa anakuombea mtoto wangu. Sasa si unishukuru niendee nyumbani. Si unisaidie kitu kile ndani nyumbani. That's why I was telling my wife the other day I don't like to be nagi kuona my parents in law, my in-laws wana wanatokea hapo bwa. You get prepared. You get what? Ukichukua wanakuja hata wewe unafanya mazoezi ya kwamba watu wanafanya nini? Say you could, hey, niko hapa. Hey, hey, na 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 shokere hapa hapa. Ai, you get why you rather run and hide. Why? Because when they are there, wakiwepo, and even when you know they are coming, you are prepared. Unasema kwamba my parents are coming. Praise the Lord. Elijah alisema ya kwamba I prepared He said Gideon said If God for sure you are the one who came And said I am a mighty man of error Wewe umesema mimi ni shujaa wako Ni mekuambia leo without your invitation Ni metengeneza zadaka hapa Kama wewe ni mungu kweli Kuja ukule Wana suwe sana That's how we are supposed to do to our parents The reason even some parents are suffering Watoto wana wana neglect Na wewe pia uko kwa candidate kwa hiyo The way you treat God is the same way your children will treat you. Narudia kusema, maniko nesema, he will bless the fruit of your womb atabariki mbegu ya ushashu wako. Kama unakuja kwa mungu, unakuja tu unajivurutaga, unajivurutaga. Yani, even when you are praying, unajivurutaga. 
You are giving God condition. Let me tell you. You call your children. Unaweza faith. Agina Shiro wamezoma za ni madirector wakubwa. Wanaani mshara 220,000. Baba na mama. Yani baba na wazazi. Yani watoto na wazazi. Wanakua east and west. Watoto wanatokea na maviyate. Mercedes bench. Bibi yake. Watoto wake wanatokea. Baba nakuja hako kwa baisikeri. Watoto wako na sherema. Hali nenda kwa temberea. That's a cash. I say that is a cash. Hiyo ndiyo tabia iko hapa. Ama ni aje ndirangu? Wewe. Leo hivi tavuda wazasi. Very few. It's one family that I know. Na niliambia mke wangu those children wamejaribu. Wenye ambao wazasi wao wako kwa nyumba yao wamewachengea. Nyumba mzuri mpia smart. Mzuri. 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 Wamewachengea nyumba mzuri. Wao hawaja jenga. Hakuna mtoto wamejenga nyumba yake as permanent atianeshi nyumba yake. Nikambia mawefu, hawa ndi wamepita na niko sabu nafikiri mahali walelewa, hawa kulelewa mahali. Mana magangsters wengine wote. Amina kuida, nimemaliza nyumba rongai. Nataka ukuja ufungwe. Naleta wa marafikizaku. Mama yako wametoka kwa getu. Tena wamengia kwa matatu. Kuru, kuku, kuku, kuku. Chukua tukutuku hapo ndalipi hapa mbele. You are, hiyo ndiyo, hiyo ndiyo, mama mirika. Hiyo ndiyo tabia mungu wana kuripishi yaka mbele yake. Ukiona watoto waki kutreat hivyo. Hivyo Esther. What you do today will determine. How tainua mkono hivi? How tainua mkono hivi? Na hawa zaadi walijengewa hiyo. My sister na kuambia ukweli. Especially mama yao. Ninajua. Ninareza kuambia. When I was a small kid. Nikio kisi. Mtoto mdogo. Mama yao. Mama yao, hata ngingia kwa duka, achukue pesa, apeleke kwa pasa, hawa unulia hata kitu. I remember one of our pastors, wakati alipawamia kwetu, mama huyo alioka na iso mama ngina, kasema, tafadhali nuwa vijiko, nuwa mpaka suti za pasa. And that woman was doing those things many years ago. One day I told the children, I said, what you are enjoying today, it is because of your mother and your parents. Amba walishimama vizuri mbele za mungu. Wanaweza kujinyima kwa ajili ya mungu. And now, and I told my wife, it is not a stranger. Kuona watoto wamechengea mama yao na baba yao. Nyumba nzuri wamewanulia gari. Hiyo ndiyo baraka. Hiyo ndiyo baraka. Ni haibu sana. Ni haibu ndirangu. Baba yako atuendi wa mgeni mwejimu wameitu wa mahali. Baba yako wako na baisikeri ya meuda kukuona. Mkutano ikisha. Tena ako katikati ya watu. Anandira kuambia watu. Na chua ule ni mtoto angu. Hata watu wa waminigi, mtoto wa kando ama mtoto wa ukweti. What you are doing today, kilo nafanya leo mbele za mungu uwewe cherimu, hiyo ndiyo itadetamini watoto wako wanakutrizi na mnagani. Hiyo, 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 hiyo kilo nafanya kwa mungu because watoto wako hauta waambia. Tere ni shanga sana, mtoto wangu wakija wa. Wafisa kani ambia, dadi, tunachangia masini. Uzi nkashinu masini nani? I could remember kwamba kuna mdoto ula likuwa para accident hapa, anaito masini. Tichari tuambia, na ninajua kuna wazazi wako huu kwa hika niza, they never even gave their children even 10 bob to kuchangia huu mdoto. Haka nimele, dadi, unajua, huu kukua last Sunday, tulikuwa tumambiwa kila mdoto, anachangia masini, so that at least we had part accident, tumupatia pole. Nika muliza, masini nani? Because inajua masini wangu umoja huyu. Say, nilioni, Nikaanda kurikol. So, tulikuwa na sivu hapa. Haka niambia, uyu nduwa na kurara sinini. Nika kumbuka kwamba, kama mtoto, kuna mana kuna watoto wa baya. Watoto wa baya kiwango ya kwamba wanakaa kama mama yao. Vila biblia nasema kwamba, vila alivyo binti yake ndiyo kawa mama yake. Muna nilo? Anai mchumbua na kumuangaisha baba yao. Nika kuliza nini? Haka niambia, nikaona uyu tutasumbuana. Nipate ndenle itarona after Bada tumemaniza ibada, ni kaona mama yungu tulika kumbuka, but I couldn't recall and connect the name. Nika kumbuka, oh, masiule mtoto alipata accident. Watoto wadogo wanaweza kumbuka hiyo. Na kuna wasashi, wasashi. Kichotone ki watendekea, they cannot even connect. Wajue kwamba, faith, if you don't show your children God, you show them your grandfather, your children forever, they will rebel. Yani vili unawana watoto wakifanya, wakifanyia wasashi, wakifanyia wasashi. Hivyo ndiyo wazazi wanafanyia ka mungu. Na kuambia ukweli hivyo ni rangu. Hivyo ndiyo wazazi wanafanyia. Ukiona mungu wanawanyima. 
Mungu anatumia mtu yote kukuzungumzia. Anakuzungumzia kuku establish anasema I will establish you. Mungu ndiye anakuimarisha. Yaani kitu yote unataka kufanya haifanywi na mwanadamu, inafanywa na Jehova mwenyewe. Na kile Mungu ameanzisha, hakuna mwenye anaweza simamisha. Kile mwanadamu ameanzisha, ujuzi yake itafika mwisho.